The human race appeared on Earth approximately 2 million years ago, and the first living beings appeared more than 3.5 billion years ago. If we compare the time difference from the emergence of the first living beings to the emergence of the first human beings, we can notice that the human race has been living on this planet for a very short time. That being so, is there a possibility that millions or billions of years ago, there were other civilizations on Earth that appeared and disappeared before human beings appeared? Were humans the first technologically advanced civilization to appear on this planet, or were others before us? Join us to find out. Since the first archaeologists discovered abandoned ruins of very ancient civilizations, questions about our civilization's past began to arise. After all, we have been on this planet for a very short time compared to other species that populated the world for much longer, such as dinosaurs. Are we the first civilization to reach this level of technological advance? Suppose we delve into the archaeological remains spread around the world. In that case, we can notice a series of coincidences that give us a lot to think about. For example, the Pyramid of Chichen Itza in Mexico, the Pyramid of Djoser in Egypt, and the Sanctuary of Kakur in Cambodia are separated by hundreds of thousands of kilometers and were also built at different times by civilizations that never met. However, when we observe them, we can see that they look very similar. All these structures share certain similarities in their architecture and structure. However, the civilizations that built them never met. So how could these structures have so many similarities? Some time ago, it was thought about the possibility of the intervention of another, much more advanced civilization, whose technology influenced ancient human civilizations to build gigantic pyramid-shaped constructions. However, although these ideas make our imagination fly, Archaeological evidence indicates that any technologically advanced civilization did not visit our ancestors. They were simply brilliant and knew that a pyramid was the tallest, most stable, and most resistant structure that could be made with stones. Everything indicates that the most likely thing is that many human civilizations throughout the planet reached the same conclusion at different times, and that is why the pyramidal shape is the most common that can be found in ancient civilizations. But perhaps the main reason why the scientific community discards any theory about the intervention of a more technologically advanced civilization in ancient times is because there is not a single piece of evidence to support this idea. On the contrary, hundreds of pieces of evidence have been found such as papyri drawings and tables with engravings showing how our ancestors managed to build enormous pyramids only with human strength and intelligence. For this reason, the idea that civilization has been more technologically advanced than the human race in the last 10,000 years is ruled out. But how about we go back about 100,000 years? This date is already quite far from the modern since, in this age, humans were still hunter-gatherers living off what nature provided them. Could a technologically advanced civilization exist during this time? During the period known as the Middle Pleistocene, Approximately 100,000 years ago, the Earth was experiencing a glacial climate. This time is part of what is known as the Last Ice Age, and much of the Northern Hemisphere was covered by large masses of ice. Some regions, such as Europe and North America, had extensive continental glaciers. These glaciers advanced and retreated in glacial and interglacial cycles, significantly impacting the landscape more than we have today. Could a technologically advanced civilization have existed at this time? The answer is no. At this time in history, the planet was inhabited by six species of humans and various large mammals such as mammoths, the saber-toothed tiger, and the giant sloth, among others. Thanks to the fossil record and paleoclimatology, we have a clear record of which species inhabited the world, and we know that none of them had the intelligence or technological skills to develop a complex society, much less a technologically advanced one. We also know what conditions the atmosphere had back then, thanks to the ice samples we get from glaciers, and we know that no civilization was changing the climate back then by burning fuels like the human race does today. 
Before moving on, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can improve them for you the viewer. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by making sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. What constructions would an advanced civilization leave behind? The human race has reached such a tremendous technological level that everything manufactured by humans has grown to equal the mass of all life on the planet, that is, biomass. But that doesn't stop there. All means of transportation, such as trains, ships, and cargo trucks, move more material than all the rivers and oceans combined. According to historian Dipesh Chakrabarty, human activities are changing the Earth's climate. Human beings have become, as a whole, a force powerful enough to alter the usual cycle of glacial and interglacial periods that has been perpetuating for about 130,000 years. Technological progress, population growth, and our ability to spread throughout the planet have turned us into a true geological force. Until now, we considered the human being as a biological agent due to the effects that its existence has on the environment and ourselves by transmitting diseases, etc. However, now we need to adopt a much broader perspective because we are transforming the face of the Earth and its coastal coastlines, where we will leave lasting marks with activities such as deep sea fishing, mineral extraction, etc. In other words, the human being is not just a biological agent, but a geological agent since we can modify the entire planet. Some specialists in the history of evolution point out that the human species progresses much faster than other living beings due to the significant development of its brain and the technological means at its disposal. If we had mastered deep-sea fishing techniques at the average rate of evolutionary changes, the fish would have had a time to navigate the trawl nets. But humans have developed so fast that the ecosystem has not had enough time to readapt. It is astonishing to think that a single species has self-catapulted, so to speak, outside the framework of Darwinian evolution. Technology and human intelligence have allowed us to do things no known species can, such as build huge cities and roads. But if one day all humans disappeared from the face of the Earth, everything we have created so far – buildings, roads, cities, power plants – all of that would take more than 10,000 years to disappear. This means that if there had been an intelligent civilization on Earth that disappeared more than 10,000 years ago, we would not find any of their buildings standing. However, we could find remains of their civilization with those things that take longer to degrade, such as glass or constructions made of resistant stone, such as sapphire. What about plastics? Although it is popularly said that plastic takes the longest to degrade, all the plastic that humanity has generated would take a few centuries to degrade entirely, or at most, 1,000 years. While construction such as dams and road asphalt would take many thousands of years to disappear, and could even last several tens of thousands of years if they are buried, since being underground they could last much longer, up to several hundred thousands of years. In that case, how about we transport ourselves further into the past? How about the time of the dinosaurs? There is a hypothesis called the Silurian Hypothesis, which suggests that any technologically advanced civilization that existed on Earth and subsequently disappeared would leave no trace of it after 4 million years. This means that if 100 million years ago, during the Jurassic period, a race of dinosaurs intelligent enough to develop an advanced society, or even technology like the ones humans have developed until now had appeared, if they had become extinct, we would not know anything about them. During the time of the dinosaurs, there were hundreds of different species, and it is thought that they all had tiny brains compared to modern mammals. But some dinosaurs had larger brains, such as the Trudon. This was a small carnivorous dinosaur with a large brain relative to its body size. It has been suggested that these types of dinosaurs could have had more advanced cognitive abilities than other dinosaurs, and it could have even been possible that their intelligence was similar to that of modern birds. Could there have been dinosaurs much more intelligent than the Trudon? If so, that intelligent race of advanced dinosaurs could have developed excellent hunting skills and
domesticated other dinosaurs to use them as we use cows and horses. Later, it could have progressed to building enormous cities, airplanes, and even space travel technology, until one day they became extinct or disappeared without a trace, and four million years after their disappearance, all their technology as well as their buildings would also disappear, even before a meteorite wiped out the rest of the dinosaurs. But would we have no way of knowing if a civilization this advanced exists? Let us remember that humans are currently leaving a mark on Earth that is very difficult to erase. How we extract fuel and burn it is becoming impregnated in every rock on the planet. If humanity disappeared now, all our industrial activity, the CO2 emissions we generate and the different greenhouse gases we release into the atmosphere due to oil extraction, would be a footprint that could last for hundreds of millions of years in rocks from all over the world. Even something as simple as our bones would be an easily recognizable sign that we were a great civilization, as all the bones of all humans would fossilize, creating a signature of bones from a single species worldwide that perished simultaneously. How humans are changing the world and how we are influencing geology and climate will last for many millions of years in the history of the Earth. And if we disappeared, indeed a civilization in the future would find all those footprints we left, I would know that there was an intelligent civilization long before them. For that reason, today we know that we are the first species that has gone this far on the evolutionary scale. We are the first species that has ceased to be just a group of animals and has become a force of nature. But in the end, you have the last word. What do you think? Do you think there was a technologically advanced civilization long before the first humans appeared and that it disappeared millions of years ago? Let us know your opinion in the comments.